Hello, my name is Taylor Ross. I'm an Eximetry Ambassador and the owner of Frustum Virtual in Los Angeles, California. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Eximetry Basic Calibrator to calibrate the focus of your lenses. First, make sure that you have a lens encoding system. I'm using the IndyMark from Lonet. So we'll launch that. This is the Lonet Server 2.0. I have my camera already set up and one encoder connected to my computer. I'll make sure that this encoder is set to map my focus. Make sure that the low net server is still running in the background by minimizing it. Next, we'll launch the basic calibrator. Make sure you're opening the Eximetry basic calibrator, not the Eximetry camera calibrator. I cover the use of the Eximetry camera calibrator in another tutorial. The first thing you'll see is the Eximetry basic calibrator startup configuration. This is our video output devices page. I have two desktop monitors connected directly to my graphics card and one SDI output traveling to a monitor mounted on my camera. Index 1 is my secondary monitor, index 2 is my SDI output. Under mode, you can use these three dots to change the resolution and frame rate. I'm sending a UHD signal at 24 frames per second to my SDI monitor. Now on the left hand side, we'll navigate to device mapper. In the category section, you'll see all of the different types of devices that can be mapped. We will start by selecting camera tracking and then selecting manage devices at the bottom. You can scroll down. I'm using anti-latency. I've already selected the device that's connected to my computer in this use device section. If you're using HTC Vive, it would be under Open VR. You can also scroll down and find any other camera tracking solution in this camera tracking section. My anti-latency device is already running and selected, so I will just hit Apply and OK. Next in the Categories tab, select Zoom Encoder and then select Manage Devices. Scroll all the way down until you find Zoom Encoder. We're looking for Lonet 2. In the upper right hand corner, I'll select Add. The UDP port and the join multicast group should match what your Lonet 2 server is running. So if we look at that, we've got 236.12.12.12.60608. So this matches. Select OK. You'll also notice that the name of the camera is added to the end just to keep things organized in Eximetry. Select Apply and OK. Once everything is correct here and you're comfortable with all the settings that you've input, you can just select apply and start. In the upper left hand corner, you should see calibration profiles. The 35 millimeter calibration profile is the one that we created in the Eximetry camera calibrator tutorial. Normally what I'll do is just duplicate this profile and then add a focus variant. I will select this focus variant to show you what the calibration points will look like once we've completed this tutorial. If you need to change your tracking device, zoom device, or video input, you have the option to do so here. We covered the setup of all of these devices at the beginning of this tutorial, but if for any reason one of your devices is not functioning properly, you can troubleshoot and adjust any of the settings once the program is already running. Next, under calibration profiles, I will select my 35mm that we created in the camera calibration tutorial. To make sure we're not doing anything destructive to this calibration profile, we're going to duplicate it. In the lower left hand corner, we will select duplicate. I will add a version number and a tag with focus. This will help me differentiate this calibration profile once I open it in Eximetry DE Composer. Select OK once you're happy with your naming convention. With this new calibration profile selected, we need to make sure that our lens is at minimum focus and our zoom encoder is zeroed out. If we look at our Lonet server, we have a value of 6. This will match the value at the bottom of our calibration points. In order to make sure that this value is set to zero, first we need to set our lens to minimum focus. Currently our lens encoder thinks that we're at a value of six. When I shift the position of our focus on our lens, this value should update in real time. Once our lens is set to minimum focus, I will press the button on the lens encoder to zero out the lens encoding information. I will also tilt my camera down to make sure that the tracking data is updating in real time. Sometimes this needs to be woken up. You can see that the grid has snapped into place now that the tracking data is coming back into the system. Now that my lens encoder has been zeroed out at minimum focus, I will start adding all of my calibration points. At the end of this first calibration point, you will see a focus setting. This focus value needs to match the focus value of your lens. With this calibration point selected, we will navigate to the Add button just below our calibration points. In the Add menu, you will see a setting called Focus Distance. The focus distance in Eximetry is calculated in meters, but my lens is in feet. So what I like to do is open a converter on Google. I will type in 12 inches or one foot, which is about the distance that's marked on my lens. I will then copy this converted value into the focus distance of Eximetry Basic Calibrator, and then I will select OK. 
you can see that the focus setting at the end of this calibration point has now been updated. We will now repeat this process for every witness mark on our lens. We will shift our lens to the next witness mark. The next witness mark on my lens is one foot three inches, so that's 15 inches. Copy this converted value from Google, select add, and then I will paste this into the focus distance and select OK. Now we've added a second calibration point. Each of these calibration points will then tell our program where to set the focus based on the position of our lens. Now that I've showed you samples of how to input the first few calibration points, I will speed up this process. I will go through every witness mark on my lens, making sure to move the lens to the position first, calculate the focus distance to meters if it's not in meters already, and then inputting the meter value into the Eximetry Basic Calibrator. For the infinity value of your lens, I found that it's best to just double the last value that you used. The last value that I had was 120 inches, so I'll just double this to 240 inches. If you set this value too high, you may notice a large jump between focal distances when you're using it in Eximetry DE Composer. Not every lens is the same, and your distances may be different than mine, so you'll just have to troubleshoot and figure out what looks best for your lens calibration. Once you've completed this process and mapped your lens from minimum to infinity, you'll see all of the different focus distances that correlate to all of the different lens encoding positions. This is a very important step in the calibration process, and it will add another layer of realism to your virtual world. The calibration profile on the left should auto-update and save. You'll want to go through this calibration process for every lens that you plan on using during physical production. Once you complete this calibration, you can just close the Eximetry Basic Calibrator. Hopefully this video was helpful in getting you started with the Eximetry Basic Calibrator. You should now have a fully calibrated camera and lens. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.